That's amazing. You're still alive. How could you survive waste disposal? You're a surprise. What's your name? My name is... It's no use. Her memory isn't functioning. I'm sure I can reactivate it in time. Are you planning to regenerate her? Oh, yes. She's the most promising cyber I've found in years. Here you are, Ido. You know what I want before I do. Seems to me you're beginning to feel quite comfortable in your new body. <laughs> yes, I am. It feels great being able to move around. <laughs> you're lucky it was Ido who found you. He's about the best cyborg doctor there is. I ought to warn you to be careful about gangs of thieves who swarm the streets. They don't hesitate to attack and kill to get their hands on the rarer bodily organs. And especially vertebrae, which are very scarce. That's right, damn it! How long am I gonna have to wait for my new spine? I can find other spare parts to put cyborgs together again, but spines have become hard to get. No one's found a way to reproduce them yet. That means the black market's clamoring for a supply of those in particular, which obviously makes a perfect scene for organized crime. Which is a rather sick joke. Doctor! <sighs> Sorry, but your wind generator's main shaft is seized up. That sounds bad. I only hope you can find the parts to repair it. Don't worry. If the right spares are anywhere to be found, I'm the person to find them. I'll be back first thing tomorrow. There aren't many like him around who've got his willingness to work and make you laugh at the same time. Yeah, he's a bright kid. Sorry, Doc, but I won't be able to pay you till the end of the month. Don't worry about it. I won't send in the refuse operatives. You just pay me when you can manage it. You look pretty busy. Yes, a small brain repair. Ooh, say, so what's the matter with your arm? Uh, I wasn't looking where I was going and scraped up against something. <laughs> that was unlucky. It must have happened walking the streets last night. I'm concentrating on getting this fixed. Besides, surely you can see for yourself without asking, can't you? Sorry, my name's Alita. Isn't having a name like that a little bit strange? Well, it's my name and it suits me fine. Stand by. Contact! 
Here we go! What's your name, by the way? Hugo. That's nice, too. What do your parents do? Haven't got any. You mean you look after yourself? Don't you have anybody like Ido? Yes, I do. <laughs> no, I don't. Isn't it amazing? What's that? Look up there. Zarum up above us. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, I suppose so. Come with me. Where to? <laughs> I'll show you. Doctor, it's working fine again. Ido, I'm going up for a while. Bye. say you weigh a bit more than I expected you to weigh. And you're strong, too. Really? Really. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You must admit, it's about the most impressive sight anywhere. When I lie here looking up at Zarum, I know I've just got to get there someday. I wonder what the people who are allowed to live there are like. My brother tried to build a kind of balloon to fly to Zarum, and they trashed him as punishment. Know what? I really want to make a pile of money. I'll be allowed up then. I could go legally. Hmm? Laugh all you like. What's so funny? <laughs> You're much more fun to watch than that old satellite. <clears throat> well, that old satellite's beautiful compared with this. Of course, that's not surprising, considering zarum has been dumping its garbage on us for as long as anyone can remember. They keep it clean up there by dropping their waste on us. That's how the Earth got to be the way it is. Oh, is that why it's like this? You don't seem to have any idea of what people here put up with, thanks to what happens on Zarum. I don't really know. I've no memory at all, actually. Huh? Alicia isn't my real name. Ido just called me that. Oh. Well, it might even be better that way. If you haven't got a memory, it means that you can't remember all the terrible things you've lived through. But why? What makes you determined to get back again to Zarum? That's a pretty naive question. I still have so much to do there. Can't you do it down here? I can't do anything in this polluted cesspit. The only work I can get here is regenerating dying cyborgs. That's pretty important work. It isn't enough for me, and I won't work for the peanuts the factory pays me. Don't you want your talent to be rewarded? We're the best cyber practitioners Zarum ever produced. That's why they sent us here, and they've left us to rot. But perhaps you're quite happy playing the poor martyr. Mr. Nice Guy doing his bit to help the trash on Earth. Do you get off on being the biggest fish in this pond? I know I'm valuable here. The people need what I have to give them. How noble and self-sacrificing. Well, I'm not living the rest of my life here. I don't care what it costs me. I'll do anything to go back. Anything. Sharon, I can see how unhappy you are. But you'll be even unhappier if you desert us. And anyway... The factory will exterminate you if you fight them. Ido, I've found a man who's promised he'll help me to return home to Zarin. Are you on my side or not? No. In that case, we have no more to say to each other. Please. 
done it. Zarikas won again. The champion really seems to be unbeatable. Really, the most powerful cyborg the doctors have produced, and surely a passport to Zarin for its creator. Right? Can you speak? <gasps> yes. Yes, I'm fine. I never realized you were programmed with the capability for combat. I'm more than a little surprised myself. My body seemed to have taken over without any effort on my part at all. And you know something? It felt really good. I know it shouldn't have, but if he hadn't gone over the side, I'd have killed him up here. Thank you. You saved my life. Here's your reward, 10,000 tokens. It's five times the usual bounty as he was a brain-eating addict. Boy, some creatures are sick. Can I interest you in any spare body parts today? You are bound to find out eventually that I'm a hunter-warrior, a bounty hunter. In the past, it was the job of the police to catch criminals. Now, the factory pays individuals such as myself to catch and eliminate them. I am not the only one. There are others like me. What is it, Alita? Let's get home. tend to be a hunter-warrior as well. That isn't why I rebuilt you. I found you as a heap of junk on the garbage tip, barely alive. Now you're beautiful. I'll provide you with everything that's necessary. You don't need the factory's tokens. I don't want money. What I want is to express what I am. There's a better way, I'm sure. When I was fighting, 
For the first time, I felt I was truly alive. There's nothing glamorous about fighting. It's an ugly business. I won't allow you to become dirty by blood. If I am dirty by it, at least I'll be responsible, not you. I'm not a puppet with strings for you to pull. You are going to get me, Dazarim. Don't you trust me? You know I do. Well then, just do as I tell you. Keep building gladiators so strong that nothing can beat them. We'll make our fortune here on Earth, and then Zarum will welcome us with open arms. <laughs> to come here. I need your help. Uh, 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 uh. Look at what a girl cyborg's done. Help me, doctor, or I won't fight in the arena again. It's a while since you were a champion anyway, and I don't want to get involved with a brain junkie who's just had a price put on his head by the factory. The bastard Edo attacked us with a cyborg who fights like a Colosseum tiger. What? You were right, Alita. You're not a puppet for me to control. You've got your own life to lead. But a bounty hunter? Is it because you were a fighter somewhere deep in your forgotten past? do a laser registration on your brain, and you'll be an accredited hunter-warrior. A laser? We do this as fingerprints, voice prints, and DNA registration are not necessarily as reliable. My God. How could she have done so much damage with a single blow? Only Ido has the skill to program a cyborg with such power. But I will not let him stand in my way. All right, Guryushka. I'll not only rebuild you, I'll make each of your parts virtually indestructible so that you can take your revenge. And Zarum will welcome me home as the greatest cyborg doctor of all time. The registration process is complete. That was easy enough. Now get out there and go to work. Tell me, what kind of place is Zarum? I am not programmed to comment on that subject. officially registered by the factory as a hunter-warrior now. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh. Edo! Uh. That's the Riki's moving in on his opponent with his fearsome chainsaw attack! Where are we going? I want to introduce you to our allies, the other hunter-warriors. It's caused by the strain in the metal cables which fix Zarum in place above the Earth's surface. The gravitational pull of the moon results in small changes in altitude. Oh, <laughs> 
My God, Goryushka! Did you think you'd kill me so easily? Well, you're wrong. You and I are going to have some fun, little slime. What's going on in her Let up and dog me! Jeez, that's him. I thought he was dead. I'm not taking him on. What's wrong? I got one or two new tricks to play. <gasps> Alita, quick! We need your help, Hunter Warriors. No, are way. you crazy? You to that I'm not dog. taking him on. There's nothing we can do to stop a guy like, like that. Looks like it's just us then. What's the matter, baby? You lost your nerve? To the death. Alita, be careful. Being careful won't save her. <laughs> you, Chirin, could you really ally yourself with this killer? Yes, when I find I've got a use for him. I'm going to prove to the factory I'm more powerful than you. When you refused to join me, you became my enemy. If I cannot destroy you, at least I will destroy your creature. Two more shots! Yeah, keep it up, girl! Alita! I expected it to be a tougher job to finish you off. Alita, you did it! Yes! <laughs> so your cyborg's beaten mine, but that just shows that we are both on Zarum Scrap Heap and I'm just wasting my life here. I may not have succeeded this time, but I'm still determined to get to Zarum. And when I'm back where I belong, I'll show them what I'm made of, and you'll be shown up as the mediocre hypocrite you are! Alita, you acted without my guidance or consent. Are you strong enough to make your own way in this dangerous world? I can see what it is that's worrying you, Edo. But please, trust me. You've put so much of yourself, your own values and feelings into me, and even if I go my own way, I'll still be guided by what you've given me. I know, and I do trust you. You'll always be you.
Let's get out of here. Huh? <sighs> nice work, boys. Bektar. Help me! I can't stand! Help! <laughs> oh. Did you have to do that? You'll soon be dead yourself, son, if you walk away with the job half done. I think you and I should have a little talk. seen a sign of him all night. No doubt he's working trying to save up the tokens he needs to get his permit to Zarum. He's a fool. They'll never let him in no matter how many tokens he manages to save. When I first met you three years ago, I told you they'd let you into Zarum when you had 10 million tokens. I remember. Most people work their whole lives and don't save that much. That's why the factory set the figure so high. But you're nearly there after only three years. It doesn't seem to have been that hard. <laughs> you not only have guts, you're modest as well. I like that. I like your style altogether. <laughs> There's nothing special about me. I wouldn't have said that. Here, have a drink. Imported to us from Zaram and unobtainable here normally. Oh. <laughs> Does it make you feel you're halfway there when you drink that? Yeah. Listen, there's something else I want to talk to you about, which is the supply of food we depend on. As you probably know, all the best food grown on Earth farms is siphoned off to Zarum by the factory. And what's left down here is subsistence junk. What you may not know is that I control the import route to Zarum, and that puts me in a position to make a lot of tokens. And anybody who's with me gets a piece of that. How'd you like to work for me? But I want to go to Zara. What are you gonna do when you get there? Beg on the streets? They don't have much patience with beggars. If you stay here, you won't be a beggar. In fact, with a little careful management and good advice, you could end up being a very rich young man indeed. And when you're rich, you're powerful. Think about it, Hugo. You okay? Hugo! You look terrible, Hugo! Did he get you it's drunk? It's all right. Don't argue with him. I'll argue with anyone who exploits innocent people who haven't any power to hit back. Stay in touch, son. You decide what you want yourself. It's okay, Hugo. You'll be all right. Oh, my head hurts. Here, drink this. You're not used to alcohol. <laughs> Listen, Alita, I'm not a kid, so stop mothering me. I only meant people like that are dangerous to mix with. I'll remember that. <gasps> what are you doing here, anyway? I wanted to see you. Why are you being so hard and suspicious all of a sudden? Alita? Alita, tell me, do you have a dream? <gasps> what I dream's not about having money. My dream is to get away and find a better place. The money's just something I need to get there. Do you understand? I understand. Yeah? Well, well, Zarum is the beautiful place I've got in my mind. Zarum's my dream. Hugo? How much money does it cost to buy your way up to Zarum? Huh? <laughs> Mister, we're the cheapest in town. Lubrication on the spot. Yeah, okay, kid. This way.
Hold it. <gasps> ha! So I've caught a spine thief red-handed. Uh. <laughs> You're not gonna take any more suckers with this. Let's see your face. Come on, take off the mask. Leave him alone! Get away from Hugo! Hugo? You idiot! I'll kill you! Tenji, watch out! Won't do you any good. You got a price in your head now, Hugo. <laughs> oh, Hugo. What? Screwed up, did you? I'm in big trouble. We picked on a hunter warrior. He got Tanji. And he found out my name! Take it easy. There's no going back now. First you go home to collect your money. Come here quick as you can. Are you gonna get me to Sarum? Yes, of course. We'll discuss the details when you get to the office. Hurry up. Make sure you aren't followed. I will. It's a whole idea of Cyborg Gladiator onto a new level, and the... <sighs> Shit! I'm bleeding. Poor Zarekis. Looks like he's gonna need another upgrade. That's your department. See to it. Hmm? I can't upgrade him anymore. A couple of years ago, I might have done it, but now I've lost my touch. I used to be good. That's too bad, Sheeran. Then you're no further used to When me. can I go back to Zarum? Look at the run of successes this bounty hunter's had in blowing away criminals wanted by the factory. If she's half as good as this report says, she could become our new champion in the Coliseum. Hey, hold on. When I dropped Hugo off, she took care of him. Is she called Alita? That's right. Do you know this kid? Yes. Then you may not be entirely useless to me after all. You intend to match her with the cyborg robots in the Coliseum? As I've already said. And if she makes it to the top, it'll mean big bucks. And you really think she'll do as you tell her? Oh, yes. When I remind her her friend's safety is up to her, I'm sure she'll be happy to cooperate. Doctor, get out on the streets and find her. You bastard. <laughs> when you've done this, then I'll send you to Zarum, as I promised. What have you done with all the bounty tokens you've earned? When you began working as a warrior, you weren't in it purely to make lots of money. Yes, I know. But I want to pay Hugo's way up to Zarum, and I'm going with him. It takes more than just money to be allowed into Zarum. Have you told Hugo how you feel about him? No. And how does he feel about you? I don't know. Alita, I've got a feeling that this isn't going to end happily. Here is the remainder of today's bounty list. Number seven, Hugo. Wanted for repeated acts of spinal theft and murder. Hugo, they put a price on his head. The bounty on this dangerous criminal has been set at 80,000 tokens. Alita! I repeat, number seven, Hugo. Wanted for repeated spinal theft and murder. The bounty on this dangerous criminal has been set at 80,000 tokens. If you see him, it is your duty to report it to the factory. Right.
Nine million five hundred thousand. Oh, I was almost there. Huh? Alida! Did you really do this? There'll be nowhere to hide. I won't hide. I'm leaving. I'll take myself to Zarum and Bektar's promise to help me. He's going to arrange everything. There's a bounty of 80,000 on your head, which means that every hunter warrior in town's looking for you. I didn't kill anyone. It was Bektar. You're right about him in a way, but at least he's gonna help me. The factory and the hunter warriors just want to kill me, and that means I'm at war with them all! Alita, I know I'm completely ordinary, but that doesn't mean I'm not allowed to dream, and nobody can take that away. It's the only thing I've got. I'll run for it when it's dark. Don't get mixed up in this. Go home, Alita. Goodbye. Hugo. Hugo, I love you. Huh? And I have to know how you feel about me. Don't be silly. You better leave. Forget me. Go quickly. Go on. Not till you answer me. I love you as well. I feel the same way. When I touched you, a tingle of electricity went right through me. Like touching a battery. I know. I guess it's because of the storm. The lightning. Tell me how your wrist got injured so badly. It's been bothering me. The scar? It happened when they murdered my brother. Murdered him? He took care of me after our father and mother disappeared. He and his wife, they couldn't have treated me any better than they did. They were both a good few years older than me and they worked in the factory. He was an engineer and she had some sort of job in the security department. My brother was always looking up at Zaro and saying that one day he'd go there. That was his dream. And finally, he decided to make it come true. He designed a balloon which he was sure would take him there. Of course, flying is against factory law, punishable by death. He knew that, but his feeling was so strong he was ready to take the risk. He said to me no one would be able to stop him. So he went to work. He finally finished the balloon on my 10th birthday. That night, we had a visitor we didn't expect. His own wife had betrayed him to the factory for a reward of some kind. How terrible. your brother's wife could be dead or with another man it doesn't make a big difference to me betraying your brother is a terrible thing but I know what she felt if the man you love has a dream you don't share with him you start to get jealous of that dream don't say that you're scaring me to begin with all you want is to help him make his dream come true but then you start to understand that you don't have a part in what he's dreaming and where he wants to be. You begin to hate him. You could kill him. <laughs> now hold on a second. Does that mean you're prepared to kill me just because you're jealous of my dream to get to Zarum? I guess it does. Huh? What am I going to do? I'm 
not sure killing you'd make me feel happier. In fact, I know it wouldn't. How much more do you need to get to Zara? Half a million. Okay. I'll give it to Bektar for you. Huh? I'm not going to let a dream come between me and the boy I love. I've got some tokens hidden out far from here. 600,000. Take it and go to Zaram. Ira says that I'm the best hunter warrior he's ever known. So I'll soon earn enough tokens to be able to follow you. But Alita, I... It's okay. We're a team. Now go quickly. Thanks. Just Alita, but I've been following you since you killed Garishka. Taking this boy was simply a diversion. It was I who took his brother, so it is fitting I should take him too. And now I'll revenge them both! Oh, so that's how it is. But hunter warriors have no use for emotion. Still, if you hate me, then let us fight. <laughs> I've wanted to match myself against you since I saw you kill Garishka. <laughs> You're quick on your feet, but I'm as fast as you are. Did you think the feeble electricity in your body is sufficient to kill me? Don't worry, he'll be fine. I must say I've done a first-rate job. Of course. Thank you. It isn't me you ought to be thanking. It was your quick thinking which saved him. Linking your life support system across to his brain kept him alive. If you hadn't done that at once, it would have ceased functioning. It's amazing you have the medical skill to have done it. But it wasn't me. Chirin was there and came to my rescue. So it was Chirin. Well, well, she's still with us. What? Hugo's dead? Yeah. He was taken by a hunter. <laughs> You'll have to write your little investment off. What about Alita? There's no trace of her. This city's a rabbit warren. In any case, if you want her, get off your ass and find her yourself. I've had enough. Goodbye. Wait a minute. The time's come for you to finally go back to Zarum. Hugo's been lied to. There's no way money alone can get him to Zarum. I came from Zarum myself. This mark on my forehead is the proof of citizenship. And I know he will never be allowed on Zarum. 
unless the factory decrees that there's a special need for his talents there. That's a lie! <laughs> Alita, after him. He overheard me, and I'm afraid that it might make him do something desperate. What the hell do you want, Ego? You lied to Hugo Bektar. Lying's no crime, and if he was stupid enough to believe me, he deserves everything he's got. You destroy anyone and anything, just to get rich. <laughs> Hugo was desperate to get to Zarum, so you saw you could use him. But the factory never allows anybody up there except on their authority. And you knew that! <laughs> Jiren! Huh? If you've hurt her as well, where is she? What? Living organs. So this is how you repaid her. <laughs> the demand for them from Zaram never stops. I simply send them what they want. <laughs> Time. I'm finally getting to Zarum. <gasps> Number ten, I'm trying to find my friend Hugo. A cyborg answering his description has accessed the support cable to Zarem, which is strictly forbidden and punishable by trashing. Do you know what those rings are for? To keep rats off the tubes. Any rat that tries to scale them gets caught and thrown back to Earth. I'm almost there, and I'm not turning back! How beautiful it is up here, Alita, and we're not even there yet! Imagine what it must be like when you breathe up there on Zarum. They killed my brother for dreaming, but I'm gonna reach my dream! Zarum in your dream isn't a place. It's being... being safe and happy. Remember what you felt when you were talking to me on the rooftop? Together we can go back to that. That's a dream that's worthwhile! Perhaps you're right. You are right. Hugo! Look out! Hugo! Hugo! I reached Zarim when we met and didn't know it. Thanks for showing me. 